Just one of them, and boom, there's a brand new anti-tank gun ready for you, so he's obviously leveled that up, and oh no! Oh no! The M10 tank destroyers all run on in and just bump into a big mass of gooey, sticky <laughs> grenadiers who are just kind of clogging up their works and making it impossible for them to retreat. Uh, look at that. Just, you know, you'll do a little bit of damage. I think he was thinking, oh, I'll run them all over, but you're only going to run over a couple. The rest of them are going to gut you. You can see this half-track here is trying its best to do some damage. But uh, it, he'll be lucky if he gets out of there with anything. So he just lost three M10s kind of needlessly. That was a bit of a blunder. Always be careful with your M10s. They are very, very fragile. Uh, we do have a King Tiger and a couple of Panzers here. This is a nice little run-in crew. Uh, single machine gun. And now there's really no defense here on the right-hand side. Just got to be careful uh, constantly moving troops all over the place and that sort of thing. So meanwhile, not too much else going on here. Looks like he's cleaned this area out, and it is a double cap now for the Allies, but on the opposite side of the map, going to follow this uh, Calliope Barrage here. Once again, just kind of picking at, uh, in general, around where the King Tiger is. King Tiger has 14 kills and two other vehicle kills there. Uh, this sniper is just uh, in the wrong place at the wrong time, totally gunned down. We'll see how well King Tiger deals with the... Oh, look at that, King Tiger not actually able to hit anything. Calliope picking away at all of them. I want to see that King Tiger hit a Jeep. Come on, man, go, go, go. No, that Jeep is lucky. Look at that Jeep. There's no problem firing away at a uh, King Tiger and then living to tell the tale. So uh, now we have a massive, massive armor assault in the center here. Double King Tigers and a Tiger and a bunch of Walking Stukas and a bunch of uh, Panzer Mark IVs. Uh, this poor Pershing is just wrecked. And uh, now this anti-tank gun, this fails anti-tank gun, had armor piercing rounds active for a little while. He's firing away, trying to see if he can get that last uh, Panzer down, but it looks like it's just out of range. Oh, bounces off of the front armor. And now we have all sorts of barrages just landing all over him there. It looks like double walking stukas just took that out. So uh, central control and right-hand side control now for the Axis and left-hand side control for the... Um, for the allies. Allies pushing all the way and I want to see them grab that fuel point now because allies do have dominating map control but they do not have control over the victory points. Uh, meanwhile, let's see here, this uh, stew is just kind of firing its artillery shells. I love the way that looks but unfortunately it's never really that effective. I, I never really see it kill all that much but it is kind of impressive when you see it on the field. And just now get grabbing control of the middle by the pioneers from Disco Stew there. We have a huge gaggle huge gaggle of grenadiers there and ah oh, no just like you just like you'd always want you want to have the calliope's coming down on, onto the uh, grenadiers grenadiers just retreating in mass no problem they'll be back in a little bit uh, meanwhile everybody else just trying to get some uh, pot shots off on them so that's all looking pretty good here uh king tiger now taking a bunch of calliope shots and on the right hand side we have a massive massive infantry uh group here and unfortunately oh no kind of a blunder here he just grabbed everybody oh no no i'm sure he's going to activate infantry attrition that's what's going on here doesn't even bother resupplying them of course uh hso1 our hydrogen sulfate uh friend is just going to infantry attrition he's going to infantry attrition where is it oh we got some uh we got some stew action here oh god come on come on infantry attrition dude oh my is it active? I don't think it's active. I think he's just dying. Oh my god, look at that burning guy flying through the air. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's great. Dominating! Dominating, just reminding us all what his name is. Uh, yes, I, I, will, I will grant you that. Whenever you see flaming, flying bodies launched through the air, you're probably doing something right. So, that looks pretty good there. Uh, meanwhile, we've got a bunch of random people here. I don't. I think that was an anti-tank gun that just got one shot by this King Tiger. Remember, if you are a super tank and you bump into an anti-tank gun, just sit there and shoot it right in the face. That's usually the best move. Uh, two anti-tank guns getting you in crossing lines of fire, though, back out of there. That's not going to go so well. Oh! Oh, and check it out! We do have the Sherman tank is now capping the center point. That's right. Sherman tank capping the center point. Uh, we do have Raid activated right now. Uh, raid is active by play for fun. Unfortunately, he's just being attacked by all angles and before he'll ever cap it. Uh, Captain der Sherman. I don't even have to speak German to know what that means. So, uh, Calliope coming on in. Doing some damage all over the place. The Tiger by Disco Stew just chilling out. Looks like everybody was able to get out of the way in time. Uh, we do have a bunch of, or a single tank destroyer coming in here. Uh, Ill-fated tank destroyer. Just kind of chilling out here and uh, just going to just have to get out of there. Whoa, look at him. He's got snub-nosed anti-tank destroyer <laughs> heading out and boom we got some oh artillery artillery comes in oh and it does it hits it hits the king tiger out of control and in one fell swoop it looks like torcota smote his ruin upon the mountainside there it goes kaboom and he hits the eject button at the last moment but a little bit too late uh taking some falling damage there 
Meanwhile, Tiger, uh, half tracks, and uh, Panzers still chilling in the center. Still, still trying to cap this center. Quick, one of you gentlemen cap this centerpiece, please. Uh, looks like these pioneers here are definitely assaulting this fuel depot. Uh, meanwhile, these guys look like they're uh, trying to reclaim a tank gun. And uh, we still have... <laughs> the Allies control this, but they have no units there. Oh, somebody finally remembered that these demolitions and engineers were here. Going to cap the fuel. Uh, I would really love to see right now uh, Star of the War to send everybody up on the left-hand flank. He could easily cap all of that and threaten a threaten a triple cap. But no, it looks like an artillery strike in the center has ended all hope of a uh, cap in the middle. Combined with a calliope. Calliope, by the way, is my favorite lazy way of scouting. <laughs> it's just like fire a calliope there, and then whenever you hit something, you get sight over it for a few seconds, so you can tell... Is anything there? I don't know. Let's calliope it. Oh, yeah, okay. There's a bunch of stuff there. Or there was some stuff there, maybe. So, big infantry attack now by HSO1. He's going to be charging on in. We do have uh, a bunch of Disco Stews uh, Grenadiers here just kind of fighting back and forth. Unfortunately, I think they're going to be a little outgunned in this situation. But we do have the Walking Stutka bombing on in, taking out uh, the remains of that anti-tank gun. Uh, ooh, throwing some stick bombs. Kaboom! Look at that man. Just launched him across the map there. Every now and then, this phys physics engine does some fun stuff. So, uh, fighting away, doing a pretty good job. I'm just kind of backing off, no problem. Like I said, at this point in the game, we are we are at attrition warfare. And I mean literally attrition, not the actual infantry commander's ability. Uh, check out these demo engineers. Throwing a satchel charge at a bunch of little dudes here. I want to see if that even hits anybody. I'm not going to stick around though, because, oh, wow, look at that. Totally satchel charge snipe, because we've got a big battle going on here. I wanted to see that go. Um, meanwhile, uh, pretty much big blob troops fighting away here, uh, kind of retreating in layers. As things look bad, they get out of there. It looks like we do have a Firestorm Rocket Barrage. No, it's just a regular old Rocket Barrage coming down. Uh, maybe hitting that anti-tank gun, but it looks like he's okay for the time being. And check it out. That guy is, is getting repaired. Look at the double the double healing icon on that. I don't know what's up with that. Anyhow, so everybody else here has retreated for the time being. And now uh, Central Control is still being contested. The game is tied right now. Uh, in terms of victory points, but right now allies have 37 points, 243 points for the Axis, and it looks like the allies right now are just going to grit their teeth and try and cap the center point, uh, and they likely will because they're coming under fire here. You do see that Stuka once again is firing towards the center, and the point is captured. They retreat, and here we go! Oh, we've got the charge of the Light Brigade. We've got not one, not two, not three, but four, but five uh, tank destroyers coming in here, including the field tank destroyer, the durable tank destroyer, and skill tank destroyer. Lots and lots of tank destroyers, and right now we have a massive battle. This is the battle that everyone's been waiting for. We've got huge amounts of infantry charging on in. Uh, looks like they're just kind of trying to bazooka away. Uh, looks like we do have uh, one of the one of the Panzers went down. Uh, anti tank, uh, the anti tanks are doing pretty well actually. A bunch of them are really really destroyed. There we go. Looks like a single Panzer strike taking out one of them. Tiger in the meantime is just kind of wading its way through all of these infantry. Uh, looks like we do have two more of these guys left. They're charging on through, just kind of trying to stay alive here. I think the best bet now would be to leave. Just do your damage and leave because you still have four out of five of your tank destroyers. But unfortunately, uh, looks like he's trying to be a micro king and see if he can get any any uh, squishes here. Uh, looks like he probably got a couple of them, but no, we have a destroyed engine. He's down to. Looks like he's soon to be down to two. Tiger now turning his fire and probably going to pick off the last one. We do have some uh, some more shots going on up here by this King Tiger, but it looks like, oh God, Calliope coming in, chasing off the remainder of the gentleman. Uh, oh God, the Tiger firing away at the out of control. Oh, will he get one more shot off? Oh yes, the out of control tank destroyer vets up and then crashes and burns. Everybody dies, but uh, just a big massive assault here. This is like uh, kind of like in late game chess. A lot of players just opt to trade pieces with one another. I think that's what's going on. Just simplify the board position, trade pieces, uh, get rid of some of all this mess here. You can see the uh, field ranger tank destroyer opting to self repair. That costs, I think, 30 munitions and uh, disables the gun for a little while. Uh, half track now firing some more shots, likely at some of these tanks just kind of chilling out here in the center. Uh, and by the way, I, I didn't even note these before. Oh, yeah, there comes the half track shots. But uh, check out all the repair bunkers. There were at least a bunch of repair bunkers out here. Yes, uh, a whole gaggle of repair bunkers out here. So really, really helping out the tanks. Uh, repair bunkers spawn these two little dudes. Uh, where are they here? You can't even select them. They just kind of are neutral dudes, kind of like medics, although you can select medics, uh, who just kind of chase you around and, and uh, repair your stuff. Calliope Barrage coming on in, and uh, check it out. Disco Stu making sure to make good use of all these remnants here. He is uh, salvaging some munitions. Uh, meanwhile, we do have a half-track coming up here. Demolitions engineers moving on in. Uh, half-track firing across here. It looks like we do have the Sherman Calliope firing away here. And uh, we've got some action here. It looks like he's trying to re... re 
take control of the map here. I'm going to go ahead and sw swap on over to Torquita's point of view. Oh, and check it out. This is one of my favorite moves. Whenever you see this, a lot of times it can be really annoying to get rid of it. Check it out. He's going to go ahead and put down a demolitions charge. Get everybody out of the way. Click this button here. And just like in the opening uh, in the opening game of the single player campaign, kaboom! Demo charge takes out this whole indefensible, uh, indestructible wall, and uh, now his troops have access here. See Calliope coming in just where the Calliope wants to be shooting. Calliopes always want to fire at big, big gaggles of uh, grenadiers. With the grenadiers out of the way, you can see that these uh, anti these tank destroyers now are charging on in to try and get some kills. But we do have a panther. Check out the panther. Panther's like, I'm gonna take all this bush out right now. Just kind of trimming the hedges. Uh, Panthers make really terrible gardeners, by the way, just as an FYI for you. Pack, anti-tank gun, picking away, and I think these tank destroyers are ill-fitted. Maybe the Vet 2-1 can get out of there alive. It looks like, oh, rear armor hit, but no damaged engine. I think he's going to be able to get out of there. Yes, he does. And uh, big, big blob. <laughs> Nick's blobbing. <laughs> Again, don't have to speak German to know what the hell's going on there. Uh, and now we do see, wow, wow, just artillery everywhere. Artillery, even even artillery on his own troops a little bit there. So we can see Tank Destroyer coming in, trying to do something, but a Vet 3 uh, Panther is a little bit much, even for a durable Tank Destroyer. Durable Tank Destroyers, of course, have a little bit more. You can see Raid is active. Uh, I don't know if anybody's capping anything right now, but uh, Raid does mean that this uh, will be able to cap. You can see his little cap icon. I honestly didn't know that Raid affected hero units. A lot of times the Armor Commander abilities don't affect hero uh, or special armor units, which is kind of annoying. Uh, looks like the Demo Engineers uh, capping this place. A lot of incursion, incursions here by the allied players, but huge blob once again. Uh, uh, Star of the Wars Grenadiers taking control of this area. Looks like the Panther had no problem dispatching that M10, and now just a bunch of random fighting happening here in the center. Calliope's everywhere. You can see this half track here is kind of uh, just kind of left out here on its own, taking some damage from the Calliope. Uh, kind of trying to gun down, but a, likely a single Panzer Shrek will just take this thing out at this point. But no! Could it be that he changed his target and uh, he's going to be able to survive? Yes, he is. Meanwhile, uh, big, big uh, attack here, and as you can tell, what with having all of these bazookas on the engineers, uh, that only ever happens from off-map reinforcements, so surely HSO has uh, just, just fired up off-map reinforcements and is going to charge in with all of them. Uh, that was why he probably did not activate <laughs> uh, infantry attrition earlier, so whoever whoever heard me call, call him out for not using infantry attrition then immediately started... Uh, inevitably posting comments into the YouTube description. I'm now apologizing for that because clearly he is a off-map reinforcements guy, uh, which still begs the question why he didn't resupply those troops in the first place. But not not up for me, uh, not up to me to decide for the moment because we have too much action going on here. So it uh, looks like Star of the War has managed to recap most of this stuff. You can see that the uh, uh, half track is still providing some supporting fire, but he is really in danger of being picked off by just about anything. Support half track once again in the middle of the field. Um, all of this half track usage is kind of odd. I like I like the support half track. I don't really care at all about the rest of the half tracks. I think that's a waste of munitions. But I'm sure he's got tons of munitions at this point in the game. Well, he's been spending it pretty thoroughly, so uh, probably not that bad. Uh, we do have a bunker here. Uh, bunker here for dominating. Dominating still just chilling out here with this King Tiger. This, by the way, I think is the right thing to do. When you own a position, just sit there and cap it. And as you can see, it is 2-0. to zero, And the allies are just about to run out of points. Three points left. One point left. And a triple cap just about to happen. Boom. And it looks like the allies are taken out of this game. So for those of you who are always asking me to post three versus three games, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there are definitely a couple others out there. And if you're ever wondering if I have games, please just go ahead and search my library. Tons of games out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, I am Harlequin Coho. And uh, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, talk to you guys later.